girly girl here and today's episode we are going to be making a sugar cookie football for the football season. Let's get started. And here's what you're going to need. You're going to need two and three fourth cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking soda, a half a tablespoon of baking powder, one cup of softened butter, one and a half cups of white sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three to four tablespoons of buttermilk, and if you don't have buttermilk, you can just add milk and a little bit of vinegar to make buttermilk. And you're gonna need frosting, an oval cookie cutter, and this is optional, uh, a plastic bag to control your frosting for designing. Let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, we're gonna start with mixing in a small bowl, sifting in a small bowl, your flour, baking soda, and baking powder. So first, you wanna put your flour in. Then add your baking powder then your baking soda together. And now you just wanna sift this together. To make it easier, it's easier to use a spoon to move the mixture around to make it go down faster while lightly shaking. Okay, when you're done sifting your ingredients, you wanna put that aside and get your butter and sugar. You want to put both of them inside the mixture. After you're done putting the ingredients in the bowl, you want to mix on a low, meat, low speed until smooth. After you're done mixing your butter and sugar, we're going to add the egg. So first you want to crack the egg and put it in the bowl to make sure no shells come in. Now you want to put your lid down and mix it into a slow speed. And then add your egg. Next, you wanna add your vanilla extract. Now you wanna take your lid off and make sure all of it is down. Now you just wanna add all of your mixture of the baking soda, baking powder, and flour. Now you want to put your lid back down and mix it at a slow speed. Now you want to add your buttermilk. Before you start rolling your dough out, you want to make sure to wrap it up in a type of foil and put it in the fridge or freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now when that's all done, you want to take your rolling pin and roll it out. You don't want to make it too thin. Now you want to start cutting out your cookies with your oval cookie cutter. Once you're done cutting out all your cookies, you want to make sure they're on a non-stick surface and you will be having extra dough, which you can make more cookies with. And once you're ready to bake, you want to bake up to eight to 10 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. After your cookies are done baking, we are gonna let them cool for five to 10 minutes. And while they are cooling, we are gonna be baking the frosting. So the first thing you wanna do is take your plastic bag and put it inside a cup. And you wanna make sure the bag is all the way down in the cup. Now you wanna open your frosting and before this step, if you want the color of the football frosting to be the color of your football team, you want to make sure to dye your frosting before you do this step. So after you're done dyeing your frosting, if you chose to, you just want to open your bag. You don't have to put all the frosting in the bag. You put just as much as needed. You just want to get it and put it, scoop it in. Once you're done putting your frosting in the bag, you just wanna slowly and carefully take it off. Make sure all the sides are up. 
then you just want to push it down with your fingers into one corner. And you want to make as small as you can tip, cut for fine details. And now you want to get your cookie and we're going to start frosting. Okay, now we're going to start frosting your cookie. The way you do this, if you don't have a picture for reference, you do two lines on each side. Now after you do your two lines on each side, you just want to do a small line in the middle. Now you just want to make smaller lines on top of that. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. You have your cookie, football cookie for those football season. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Comment down below if you had any problems with this. So, hope to see you guys next time. Bye!